Good morning, my dear children. Are you doing your homework regularly? Good. So today we will continue lesson number two, uses of plants. So previous class we learnt about other uses of plants. So there are some other uses of plants instead of either of food. So here last topic was fibers and wood. So we said that cotton and nylon is the two types of fibers which we use to make clothes. And here there are two types of wood: hard wood and soft wood. So these are used to make furniture and used to make papers. Is it clear, children? So now we are going to go to the next topic: rubber. So now we are going to go to the next one: rubber. Rubber is made from the substance called latex. So rubber, a product which is called rubber, is made up of a substance called latex. Obtained from rubber tree. So this latex is obtained from rubber tree, and incision is made across the tree's trunk. Nothing but incision is is to cut is a surgical cut. A surgical cut made in the trunk of the tree. A surgical cut is made in the trunk of the tree, and the latex is collected. In a small bow. So after the cut, this, the latex is collected in a small bow. This process is called tapping. This process is called tapping. So from the tree, the latex is collected, and this process is called tapping. Is it clear, children? Rubber is used to various things such as tires, gloves, balls. Everything but the harmful mind. 
ginger ginger helps in digestion so when you go for a over overall food when it is very high quantity of food you should use ginger in your food why because it will help you in good digestion it will help you in good digestion and curing throat infection and curing your sore throat your throat infection the next one garlic garlic improves digestion so these two are the best combination in our south so ginger and garlic is a good combination and these two things helps in digestion and garlic also helps in reduces the risk of heart diseases so how much you use these garlics it will reduce the risk of heart diseases is it clear children the next one is aloe vera so everyone knows it aloe vera is used for treating skin diseases so it will it is very much useful for your skin rashes so when you apply this on your body the skin rashes will be disappear is it clear children and your next one is eucalyptus oil your next one is eucalyptus oil is used for treating headache cold and cough so when the climate is going to change from summer to winter everyone will be facing a problem called headache cold and cough so these times when you use eucalyptus oil it will cure your headache cold and cough so your last topic is food your last topic is food what is meant by food so to prepare food for the animals is called food plants provide food for animals too so plants are not giving food for human beings it is also giving for animals too so herbivores animals living in the forest depend entirely on plants for their food so the herbivores animals entirely depend on plants for their food farm animals feed on food so we have farm animals such as cow donkeys sheep goats and hen whatever it is so these kind of farm animals also feed food after the grains have been removed from plants such as paddy barley corn millets oats and wheat the remaining stalk and leaves are dried and stored to make food so the remaining waste or the remaining from the plant which are stored stalk means the stem of the plant and the leaves are being dried and stored to make food so nothing but the grain is being separated from the plant and the remaining plant which is stalk or stem and leaf is dried and stored to make food is it clear children types of food so what are all the types of food are all grass hay straw bran and chaff these are all the uh, types of food which is made from the rest of the parts of plants is it clear children cattle also feed on oil cakes oil cakes are nothing but we extract oil from the seeds and the remaining leftover is called oil cakes which are the dry residue repeat after me residue that means the remaining material which is been extracted from the oil is called residue materials of after the oil has been extracted so for example if it is a ground nut oil when the oil is been extracted the remaining waste is called residue material and we use this as oil cakes for the cattle cattle means for the cows from seeds such as ground nuts so we said that oil cakes are used for cattle so these oil cakes are made from the residue materials after the oil has been extracted from seeds such as ground nuts is it clear children so children we will recap it short once again so we said other uses of plants first one is fibers cotton and nylon and the next one is wood 
Page number 